So dear participant, I hope uh, the session is end. It is already 10, uh, 1030. So you have a, I hope you have a good exam. Um, and uh, we'd like to start our session today. Uh, as you know, we have already completed the uh, SDS working principle. We have also completed uh, WDM and uh, DWDM working principle last uh, our four classes. Um, today, uh, we'll have our another uh, trainer, Mr. Uh, Alu Mohammed. He's a senior uh, network engineer, transmission network engineer, and BD working in Baden. Uh, we will discuss about the WDM, DWDM uh, basic concept, and we will uh, totally uh, move on uh, uh, OEM based discussion today. Yeah, as you know, our trainer uh, last four classes uh, have already discussed about your different working principle and they have mentioned different uh, OEM vendor they are producing DWTM equipment and like uh, Tezaz, Huawei, Infera, Jetty and Cisco but we have designed our course uh, with the Cisco equipment and today we'll move uh, discussion all the working principles with the Cisco DWTM equipment. So I would like to welcome Mr. Alu Mohammed. Mr. Alu Mohammed, the floor is yours now. Okay, thank you, Aribai. At first, I have introduced myself. I am Alu Mohammed. I am the net senior network engineer transmission in BDRAN. My voice and screen is visible? Yes, exactly, perfectly. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Good morning, good afternoon to <clears throat> you all depend on your location. It's privilege to get an opportunity to speak on behalf of DWDM transmission. In this presentation, I talk about uh, discuss DWDM transmission. Uh, some topics may be repeated. You know, uh, uh, today we will discuss this theoretically. Uh, theoretically, concept is clear. You, you easily configure the uh, practical session and uh, practical session more interesting, beautiful, and more learnable if you are clear uh, uh, theoretical part. Okay, now I can start. Today, I will introduce you to the basic how optical fiber work. Op uh, optical fiber are most commonly media for transmission optical signal. We will uh, cover the history and physical construction of optical fiber. Overview, deep deployment history, light transmission principle. Before, um, before optical fiber, we invented communication uh, was implemented by the transmission electrical signal over the copper cable and twist or twist, twisted cable. But twisted cable and copper cable have short transmission distance and limited transmission capacity. For example, when two Mbps electrical signal are transmitted um, using a 75 ohm copper cable, the longest transmission distance is less than only uh, 3,300 meters. When one Gbps signal are transmitted over the twister pair, the transmission distance is no longer than 100 meter, even its latest G fast technology. In addition, the cost of copper cable is very high. In 1966, Charles Quell Cow, Chinese and Chinese brown, uh, British scientists suggest to use the light conduct glass fiber to transmit optical signal. In 1970, based on this cow work, an American company by the same by the name of the Corning successfully developed the world first silicon of fiber uh, and attenuation of 20 dB per kilometer in successive studies, the fiber attenuation was uh, continuously reduced, which to this lower than 0.2 to 0.3 dB per kilometer. Uh, optical fiber are found of high um, glass, made high purified glass made from silicon dioxide, exactly the sand. Sand is the one of the most common materials in the art. Um, starting from 1990, optical fiber communication become the most important and commonly used word communication method because of large transmission capacity, long transmission distance, low cost, high anti-electromagnetic interference capability. 
again i have repeated the uh, advantage of the optical fiber communication maybe uh, some question of mcq come from these topics uh, the uh, optical fiber communicate optical fiber advantage is long transmission capacity long uh, long long transmission capacity large transmission capacity long transmission distance large transmission capacity long transmission distance low cost and anti high anti electromagnetic interference capability in figure i i as we can see from the figure where an a optical signal travel from media 1 to media 2 both a reflection and refraction occurs at the interface interface if the refraction index of media 1 is higher than that the media 2 the reflection angle is greater than the in incident angle the incident angle um, higher than the uh, higher than the incident angle uh, in, in case the optical signal will be entered the media to when the incident angle is greater than the critical angle total deflection occurs in this case the optical fiber uh, optical signal will be limited within the media one uh, not on no, will not enter the media two the optical transmission uh, of uh, optical transmission fiber optics communication using the total reflection effect of the light this is the um, basic concept uh, optical transmission mainly deep, uh, mainly uh, use the uh, uh, characteristic of the light is the total reflection effect it is the uh, it is the main um, uh, characteristic used the optical fiber communication Okay, in this slide, I have discussed about the basic DWDM. DWDM, uh, DWDM technology background, space division multiplexing HDAs and time division multiplexing TDS. DWDM technology background with the dramatical increase of voice service and uh, emergency of the various new service uh, specifically the quick change of ip technology te uh, network capacity will be in in be in be tellably, uh, be faced with the critical challenge traditional method of transmission network capa uh, capacity expansion uh, avoid the space division multiplexing hds or time division multiplexing tds Space division multiplexing means uh, uh, space division multiplexing linearly expansion the uh, transmission capacity by adding the fiber and the transmission equipment in the linearly add. Time division multiplexing TDS. TDS is the most uh, commonly used method of capacity expansion, i.e., multiplexing of the primary uh, primary group of fourth uh, fourth group of uh, traditional pdas and stm1 stm4 stm60 and stm64 of currently hds when a system with a line line rate of stm1 is required to provide the stm2 channel the uh, that only we are update the system update the system in stm4 even though the stm2 is unused now again, I have repeated. If if uh, we have need a STM one, um, uh, we are using the STM one in uh, for a router to and a rou one router to uh, one router to another router. That means one router is Dhaka, another router is Chattogram. We are using the STM one. Now we have need to another STM. We cannot easily update the another STM. We are we have need the STM update the STM four. Uh, that we can use the STM two from the STM four. Another two. STM is unusable. This is the main um, disadvantage for the HDS system. DWDM technology, DWDM technology utilizes the bandwidth and uh, low attenuation characteristic of single mode optical fiber at a multiple wavelength as carrier and allow them to transmit the fiber simultaneously. 
when compare when compare the common thing uh, common single channel system density wave wave division multiplexing dwdm greatly increase the network capacity and make full use of the bandwidth resource of optical fiber a space division multiplexing this is the main uh, theoretical main, main transmission structure uh, tx mean transmission transmission mainly two type optical and radio optical transmission are another uh, three type pda p synchronous digital hierarchy synchronous digital hierarchy and wdm wdm uh, is two type cwdm and dwdm and radio is, radio is two type micro radio and satellite radio WDM concept different signal with specific wavelength are multiplexed into a fiber for transmission. That means different type of signal, HD signal, IP signal, voice, radio, voice, video, audio, any kind of signal are multiplexed, multiplexed into a fiber for transmission. And AVFD lambda is carry any any type of signal. Difference between CWDM and DWDM. Channel space. Channel space means uh, uh, middle space between one channel to another channel. Channel space is CWDM is a two nanometer and DWDM only four point four to point eight nanometer. Um, wavelength range one one thousand one hundred one thousand three hundred eleven one six double one nanometer. Uh, uh, DWD, we can use two type of bandwidth C band and L band. Transmission capacity, um, CWDM can secondary maximum 40 D and DWDM transmission capacity um, uh, uh, 16,000 Z or above. Laser, uncolored laser, color laser, cost, uh, uh, CWDM cost is low, um, uh, DWDM cost is expensive. Applicable 100 kilometer, 4000 kilometer application metro and long, long haul transmission. A, a, a CWD is for the metro network and DWD is for the long haul transmission channel. Maximum channel used in CWDM is eight and DWD is 160, 160. Uh, five, uh, filter technology, passive intelligent. DWD equipment operating mode, uh, two, fi uh, two fiber bi direction transmission, single fiber bi direction transmission, add and drop optical signal. Now we can, we are discuss about the uh, two fiber bi direction transmission. A single optical fiber implement only one direction transmission or transmission of optical signal. Hence, same wavelength can be reused in the two direction. This, uh, that means, One fiber used for the, this like this way, and another fiber is used this way. If you you use the um, uh, you use the um, one lambda lambda fifteen point thirty two in this in this line, you, you can easily reuse same lambda is another same lambda is another part because of the two part are difference. Single uh, now we are going to discuss the single fiber by by, by direction transmission. Single fiber by direction transmission, a single fiber transmission optical signal for two direction simultaneously, and this thing, um, uh, this signal in the same uh, in the two different direction should be assigned the different wavelength. That means uh, this is the only one signal one fiber. One fiber means one pair fiber. If you can use the this way, uh, fifteen point thirty two for a uh, thirty two, um, you cannot use the same wavelength. And another wavelength is for the by the opposite direction. <clears throat> add and drop optical signal by utilizing the optical add and drop multiplexing optical signal of uh, wavelength can be added and drop the intermediate station i.e implementing add and drop of optical path the the method can be used by impl implementing ring type network of dwdm system at the present oam optic uh, optical add and drop can only be made as fixed wavelength or division or fixed Wavelength add and drop device uh, as shown in figure uh, uh, does the flexible flexibility of operating mode limited limited. DWDM has two application mode. 
open DWDM and integrated DWDM. <clears throat> what is the open DWDM? What is the integrated DWDM? Mm, open DWDM, the DWDM system adopt wavelength conversion technology to convert the optical signal to uh, optical signal of multiplexing terminal into the specific wavelength. That means uh, in open DWDM system, use the wave conversion technology, wavelength conversion technology, and integrated DWDM uh, system without adopting the wave, wavelength conversion technology required them um, uh, that the uh, required uh, that the optical signal uh, wavelength of the multiple terminal meet DWDM specification. What is what is the uh, adopt wave division technology? Adopt wavelength division technology. That means that uh, optical signal convert to electric signal and modify, add and modify or uh, amplify. Then again, uh, of electrical to optical. This um, that means optical to electrical conversion, conversion and of electrical to optical conversion. It, it is called the Convert conversion. It is called the um, open DWDM. An integrated DWDM not need to the adopt the not need adopting the wavelength conversion. Now we can uh, discuss advance of the advantage of the DWDM technology. At first, advantage is ultra large capacity. That means. The transmission bandwidth of the current commonly used conversion uh, conversional fiber is very wide, but uh, an ulti um, utilization ratio is still low. But uh, using the DWT DM technology, the transmission capacity of single optical fiber is increased by the several 10 or 10 of or even how hundred of times higher compared to the transmission capacity of single wavelength system. That means uh, we can uh, we can easily we can uh, describe this the ultra large capacity means in SBA system you know the maximum capacity one pair cable is sixty four that means ten G but DWDM technology maximum capacity in if you have a HP channel HP channel into HP channel and HP lambda into ten uh, every uh, every channel occurs hundred G that means. 8000 G or above, the, you can easily understand the ultra large capacity. The uh, next advantage, uh, advantage is transparency. Transparency DWDM system uh, system conduct multi multiplexing and deep multiplex in term of optical wavelength uh, different and difference and uh, and are independent to the signal rate and modulation uh, modulation modes. Moves. That means you can easily um, uh, transmission uh, trans, uh, transfer from uh, destination point to origination point to destination point data in uh, this uh, any any kind of data. That means voice, uh, TDM, HDM, voice, uh, digital, analog, any kind of data transfer from one station to another station. Alta Alta most protection of the existing invest uh, alta most so, protection. Uh, I, I would like to interrupt you. Sorry for that. Uh, we have a lots of questions and comments over there in chat box. So you have a question. Could you uh, would, uh, are you comfortable uh, taking the question right at this moment, or you will explain uh, those question after uh, finishing your slide? Uh, after finishing my slide, I have uh, explained the every question. Okay, so we have another observation from the audience and the participants. Uh, they are requesting, could you please uh, go with slowly, then and oh, it will okay. be better that they could understand better. Oh, okay, way. Okay, 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 thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, third uh, advantage of DWDM is the almost protection, uh, all, uh, all, all ultra mode protection of existing invest investment during system upgradation during the expan expansion and development development of the network. It is an idea of approach the implementation capacity expansion with without the need to uh, rebuild uh, re the optical fiber cable and uh, only uh, required to them replace optical uh, transmission uh, optical trans 
transmitter and receiver. That means if you can, uh, if, if, if you have a fiber, why Dhaka to Rashai, you not need to send the all fiber. You only send the, the two side document, uh, two side equipment. You can easily increase your capacity. And not only that, uh, optic uh, DWDM have a uh, more protection. That uh, we uh, PBS class uh, our trainer uh, explain the protection. Every protection in this uh, of DWDM technology. Uh, fourth advantage high. Flexibility, economy, and reliability of network and uh, networking. A flexibility, economy, and reliability of network. When uh, compared the traditional uh, network using the electrical uh, TDS network, new communication network based on WDM technology are greatly simplified in architecture and have to clear network layer. Network layer. Uh, fifth advantage is the comp uh, compatibility compatibility uh, with all optical switching. It is uh, for the for that in the reliable uh, reliable uh, all optical network in future uh, processing such as add and drop connected to the all telecom service in the implementation by the change and adjusting the optical signal wavelength. So DWDM technology is one of the one of the key technologies to implementing all optical network. This is the frame structure. Uh, it is very important. Uh, this frame structure is similar to HDC frame structure. Uh, one to seven is aligned. You know, you, you if you are remember. One to seven is the alignment, alli alignment uh, byte. That, that means the function of the uh, byte is alignment. As we know, in HDS, uh, can add and drop lower tributary signal to higher tributary signal. Similar, the DWDM technology, the alignment means uh, uh, know that the is, uh, add and drop uh, in any signal, alignment signal are arranged the additional. Uh, 7 to uh, 7 to 40 is the OTU overhead. OTU overhead man, means optical transport unit overhead. Uh, uh, 40 to 60 PDO, uh, PDP, OPU overhead. OPU overhead means optical payload overhead. And 16 to 3824 is, is the total payload. And 3824 uh, is the FEC byte, FCEC byte is the correction byte. <clears throat> if we can uh, explain the overhead, OTU overhead, uh, payload signal, payload signal is the original signal plus uh, optical payload overhead. If we are uh, payload signal plus optical, uh, optical uh, payload overhead, we can get the payload unit. If uh, payload unit plus uh, optical um, uh, data unit overhead, we can get optical data unit and we can we can optical data unit plus optical tributary overhead we are getting the optical tributary unit and optical tributary unit plus um, uh, fec by it we can is ocs channel this is the important and last stage of this signal uh, this is the multiplexing uh, system otu OTU, it is very important uh, for remember if you are uh, configured, you must be uh, uh, must be as and um, uh, put this number OT1 or OTU2 or OTU3. You must be know the below of the OT1, OTU2, OTU3. OTU, mm. OTU means optical transport unit. If, if you know the DWDM <coughs> HDS system, HTM1 is equal to 4 into HTM4. HTM4 is equal to 4, uh, HTM1, HTM4, HTM1, HTM1, and HTM4 is equal to 4 into HTM1, and HTM16 is equal to 16 into HTM1, similar to ODU, uh, OD. ODU0 is, uh, is capacity of ODU0 is 1.25 GBPS per second. ODU1 
2 into ODU 0, that means 1.26, 25 into 2, 2.5 Gbps, ODU 3, 4 into ODU 1, in that means 2.5 uh, into 4, 10 Gbps, and ODU 3, 4 into ODU 2, one, four, uh, 14 Gbps. If you have need to the configure um, uh, 10 G, you must be configure ODU 2. If you have to need to uh, uh, 2.5G or 2G, you have need to configure level is ODU1. This, uh, this, is, this is very important for future configuration. The, this is the typical uh, frame structure OCS. OCS means optical supervisory channel. Uh, optical supervisory channel for uh, only used for the monitoring. Like as if you are uh, connect the laptop, uh, desktop in uh, desktop monitor in your computer you can monitor the your cpu memory cpu uses similar to ocs is used for the monitoring purpose monitoring purpose and monitoring purpose uh, ocs have the 0 to 31 byte fg byte have um, some function uh, 0 byte uh, for align signal similar to a1 a2 byte is hda e1 byte um use for the Use for the each uh, use for the uh, voice communication, voice uh, information communication. Uh, F1 bytes used for the channel, uh, CA channel based uh, digital communication. That means laptop to laptop. If you are configured to uh, uh, two note, uh, one note is the Dhaka, another note is the Tangail, you have to need the communication one note to another note with the CA channel and S. 3 to a 13 channel and 50 channel is similar to D1 and D1 to byte. TS third channel ACL automatic level controlling and 17 F channel is for the F similar to F2 byte. F3 byte is a channel, F2 byte, U2 byte and U1 byte is the framework and other is reserved. Uh, what is the DWD? If you are a um, uh, single, uh, single fiber and un, un, unidirectional transmission, this is the max, and this is another D, uh, D max in system. Uh, what you can, uh, if you are uh, a router uh, is connected, the ODU, OT1, and another router is connected, another OT1. This is the main technology of DWDM. Hello, Rikbai. Yes. Now we can explain some question. Another two slide. Another two slide will be uh, start after finish the answer and question session. So um, uh, we have a question from Kamrul Hassan. Uh, in transmission capacity of DWDM, what is the one sixty? Uh, is it channel number? Yes, this is the channel number. DWDM capacity is the um, 18 on 160. Most of the commonly use the 18 channel, but 160 is the laboratory work. 160 is not used in the real life. 80 is the work in the real life. And our, D, our uh, BD and DWDM is only use the 40 channel. 40 channel enough for us. So 160 is the channel number, right? Yes. Okay. 
So we have another question from Rakib Hassan, a standard track engineer from JUST. So he's, uh, he's asking that, uh, do you have any example disadvantage of uh, SDH and in STM4, two channel are unused? Can you explain? Okay. Disadvantage of SDH is the fast, right? Yes, I mean, <clears throat> I can explain. Uh, main disadvantage is, is, is the if you have a two HDS system, one HDS system is the Dhaka and another HDS system in Narangon. You using one pair cable, uh, one optical pair cable, optical cable from uh, Dhaka to Narangon. It is very, very high cost invest and only 64 stm 64 stm means uh, 10g maximum capacity is 10g i can explain uh, show my slide If, uh, if, uh, if we are not so, we, we are not we are not uh, seeing your screen probably yeah right at this moment okay, it is okay visible okay. in SDN system maximum capacity is one pair cable is 64 man that means 10g but dw technology maximum capacity 80 channel every channel every channel carry 10 100 g that means 8000 g but we cannot change uh, optical fiber from Dhaka to Nangon. This is the advantage. And this is the disadvantage for the HDS channel. Another disadvantage of HDS channel is overhead byte. The PBS plus you are explaining one stream is equal to one stream 155.52 Mbps per second, megabit per second. Oh. Uh, I cannot hear you. Alamay, can you uh, can you uh, disconnect your uh, Wi-Fi other than? Hello, Alamay, can you hear me? We cannot hear you. And are are, are you hearing me? Yeah, I, I can oh, hear you now. Okay. So uh, we actually missed you last couple of uh, last few minutes, last one minute. Okay. So one minute. Can you explain again? Explain again. Okay. Okay. Now you can hear me and you can. Yes, my yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Again, uh, we can explain the this question answer. Uh, in HDS system, maximum capacity is the HDM 40, uh, 64. That means 10 G. But if we can use the DWT, uh, DWDM technology, we can um, use the uh, 80 channel and every channel have uh, 100 G. That means 8,000 GB, 8,000 GBPS or above. That means you cannot change the optical fiber from Dhaka to uh, Nanga. Only you can change the uh, two, uh, two height equipment. This is the advantage. And HDS, uh, the, uh, this is the advantage. The HDS disadvantage is 
uh, you know the AGS one STM is the one STM is uh, bandwidth is 155.5 uh, 155.52 Mbps that may, but payload signal is only 3139 that means uh, huge uh, bandwidth are used for the overhead byte and DWDM overhead byte is low. Mm, another disadvantage of the uh, HDS is Mm, it is fully depend on the software. If you uh, your software is uh, corrupted or your software is virus affected, you can not man uh, control the system. Okay, another question. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Alumbai. Hope Raki Bhai, you have uh, got your answer. And uh, we don't have any question right at this moment, but uh, we have some uh same uh, observation from our participant uh, uh, I, I would slowly. request uh, slowly, slowly yes okay. probably you, you can see the chat box so uh, it will be better if you please uh, go with, uh, with slow then it will uh, better for the participant understanding uh, your speech so uh, you can start the next slide okay In this presentation, I will talk about the <clears throat> principle of WDM network. Such as DWDM network or CWDM, gray and colored, uh, and C and L band. I hope this course can uh, help you gain to uh, thoroughly understanding of the basic principle of WDM and its relative concept. It is the <clears throat> best carrier of fast informational transmission. The um, OA light carrier information in similar to radio, quick transmission, audio, video, and other data. Yet, we, <clears throat> with the WDM technology, the speed can, speed can be increased exponentially. How we, um, how externally, how exactly does the WDM affect that? Let us take uh, a look. Uh, let us take a look at the optical phenomena when a beam uh, of la white light travels through a prism. It is divided into seven different colors. Beam uh, when the color beam of light travels another another prism, they will merge back into a, a single beam of white light. That means you can uh, put a uh, that means you can put a light in prism. It is uh, divided in seven color. E again, you can uh, put a um, seven color prism is um, another prism. It is uh, going to the colorless. First prism is working as a uh, demaxing, and second prism working as a maxing. For this, we can uh, postulate that uh, light is featured div uh, further divide, uh, divisible and divisible. In needed, a single color beam of light can be featured divided into the wavelength. Let take a look. <clears throat> Let take a look at the real WDM mode. The light in an optical fiber is composed of multiple wavelengths, each which can carry different information figure in figure we can showing in figure two uh, therefore the volume of the information being carrier with uh app substantially higher than uh, substantially higher than a single beam of light if a wdm system contain 80 uh, 80 wavelengths the, the below of the information will be 80 time or that uh, of an single wavelength 
let's uh, make thing uh, easy uh, easy to understand to compare the wdm uh, system uh, to a, a traffic system a single uh, light is like as a single traffic lane this uh, single traffic lane uh, wdm arms to put the multiple wavelength uh, into one optical fiber and achieve the multiple length even that the same db uh, db uh, dbing uh, space the driving speed speed same driving speed that wdm system can drive several times more goods are you buying hello hello can you hear me? Uh, yes, I have need 10 minutes break. Okay, so the participant uh, will uh, back uh, just 10 minutes after. Uh, so it is 10 minutes back.
So, Alabai, can I start? Yes. And one brother asked a question. Loss of the passcode and connector is 1 dB, but if so, it is 0.5 dB. 1 dB is the theoretically, 0.5 is practically. In our BDN, it may, it less than 0.5 dB. Our connection loss may be 0.3 to 0.2. 0.3 to 0.2 is more suitable for our network. So 0.5 is, uh, 0.1 is very high. But I think it is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 or less than 0.5. It's yes, more suitable. Exactly. Okay, let's start. Okay, okay. In this presentation, I will talk about the DWD media like as optical fiber. You know the optical fiber is the main important. This slide is the for, for um, most important for our participant because of the most of the net, uh, campus network and uh, telecommunication or campus network uh, using the optical fiber. So optical fiber um, is the most important matters. <clears throat> The kernel of optical fiber used in communication system consisting of cylindrical glass core and a glass cadding, cadding and out, outermost layer is the plastic wire resistance is the pudding. The, the whole fiber is cylinder. The, uh, the typical structure of the uh, fiber is showing figure. That means one is, um, this is the, this is, This is this portion is the core. This portion cladding and this portion the putting. When the electricity is uh, when the uh, light sorry light is flow this way, this this light is reflected in the cladding and again back to the core. This is the main phenomena. The, these two part is the uh, used for the uh, electric uh, uh, reflection, and this cadding used for the protection. Another um, uh, jacket or another steel sheet is for the more protection. But these three part is the main importance um, for optical fiber. Type optical fiber. Optical fiber is mainly two type. One is single multi mode. One is single mode. Multi mode fiber is divided by two. Say a two type one type is step index multi mode and graded index multi mode and single uh, fiber can be divided by four type Z six five two Z six five three Z six five four and Z six five five. We can explain one by one. Since the single mode optical fiber has advantage of low internal attenuation, large bandwidth, easy update and capacity expansion and low cost it is internationally agreed the dw system will only utilize single mode fiber as transmission media at present itut has defined four type of single mode fiber with different design recommended z652 z653 z654 and z655 now we can explain the z652 <clears throat> G652 is a currently a single mode fiber ext extensive uh, extensive use called 1 103 1310 nanometer property optic um, optimal signal um, mode of um, mode fiber and also called a dispersion unshifted fiber that means G652 fiber is a dis uh, dispersion unshifted fiber you can remember uh, G652 uh, fiber is dispersion unshifted fiber according to the uh, re uh, reactive index across a session of the two code it can all, also be divided to um, categories matched uh, cadding fiber and depressed uh, depressed cadding fiber <clears throat> 
they have similar to properties the former uh, former is similar in manufacturing manufacturing but has relative large micro band loss and macro macro band loss and micro band loss while the mm, later has a large connection loss now we can discuss g653 53 fiber is called the dispersion shifted fiber c6 g g653 fiber is a called the dispersion shifted fiber or um, uh, one 1550 nanometer property optimal fiber by designing the reactive index across the session the the zero dispersion point of the of this kind of fiber is called shifted to the 1550 nanometer window to match the minimum attenuation window. Minimum attenuation window is for the G653. The minimum attenuation index G653 is region is 1550 nanometer. This is the make is possible to implement ultra high speed and ultra long distance optical transmission. Then G654 uh, fiber is a cut off wavelength shift single mode fiber. This kind of fiber is mainly designed to redu uh, reduce the attenuation of 1550 1, 1, nanometer. It's it is zero dispersion point to uh, still near uh, 1310 1, nanometer <clears throat> dispersion and one 1550 nanometer is relatively high up to a uh, 18 ps per nanometer per kilometer <clears throat> so <clears throat> single uh, longitudinal mode laser must be used the limit the effect of the dispersion the G, uh, G654 fiber is mainly used the submarine optical fiber communication with a very long uh, regeneration section distance. And G655 fiber is non-zero dispersion shifted single mode fiber. Mm, it's uh, similar to G653 fiber and uh, PSR, PSR certain dispersion near the 1550 1, 1, nanometer to above 4 wave mixing phenomena DW in DWDM transmission. It is suitable for DWDM system application, except for the above mentioned four type of the standard fiber. Large <coughs> effective area of fiber suitable for high capacity and long distance <coughs> has emerged. It is zero dispersion point of uh, zero dispersion point of linear 1500 uh, 10 micro uh, micrometer and it is affected area up to uh, 72 square micrometer <clears throat> uh, single mode cable single uh, single mode optical cable by single mode cable single mode cable is the single standard of um, glass fiber which is the diameter is for uh, 8.3 to 10 micro meter that has one mode of the transmission single mode fiber are relatively narrow diameter uh, you can remember again the single mode my, 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 my single mode optical fiber uh, diameter is 0. 0.8 to 10 micrometer multi mode uh, cable has the little bit bigger diagram diameter within the common diameter in that uh, 15 to 10 micro range of a uh, um, light carry component <clears throat> most application of the multi-mode fiber is used two fiber use uh, step uh, multi uh, you can say step <clears throat> index multi-mode Step index multi mode has a last core up to 10 micro in diameter. This is the step index. Um, uh, this is the step index multi mode fiber. That means the five uh, laser uh, laser are deflected different point. This laser are deflected this point. This laser are deflected this point, and this laser another th third laser is dis deflected this point. This is called the step index multi mode. And gradient in multi mode, gradient in multi mode fiber contain the core is which are the deflecting index is greatly from the center. That means the reflection point is must be same. Reflection point every every uh, light reflection point is same, and uh, um, they are. 
grade in this multimeter contain the a core in which the reflect reflective in this medimi nises greatly from the center coaxial out the, uh, toward the cutting this is the main important <clears throat> for the optical fiber error uh, that means uh, optical fiber has uh, some uh, attenuation or some resistivity this band loss attenuation constant and dispersion coefi uh, coefficient at first band, band loss Uh, band loss optical fiber will uh, cause uh, radiation loss Radi uh, radiation loss actually band loss uh, areas to an optical fiber two cases one uh, one is the uh, curvature radius of the band in um, the mass larger than the diameter of the fiber the another is micro band attenuation constant uh, attenuation or uh, attenuation in optical fiber is mainly mean by the three type of loss absorption loss scattering loss band loss again we can remember uh, attenuation loss constant have three loss at one loss is the absorption loss scattering loss and band loss finally <clears throat> we have come to the c band and l band light under the ghost uh, certain uh, losses while the travel through optical fiber Different band have different laser with C band and L band have to the lowest losses among all the band. The C band is popular, has lowest loss and widely used WDM system. The wavelength of C band uh, is uh, 1530 1, nanometer to 1565 1, nanometer and that's called the norm, normal wavelength. The wavelength of L band range is. 1565 nanometer to 1525 nanometer is called long wavelength that means c band bandwidth is <clears throat> uh, c band and l band range must be remembered maybe one portion is coming from this topic dispersion now we can be, uh, discuss the dis uh, dispersion is Optical fiber refer to the physical uh, phenomenon of uh, signal the, uh, distortion or, uh, case where the various mode carry the signal um, emerge, uh, energy or different frequency of the signal have differ, uh, different group velocity and uh, disperse from the each other during the propagation. Generally, the three kinds of dispersion um, exist in optical fiber. One is modal dispersion. This case uh, when the fiber carrier multiple multiple nodes of the same frequency signal energy and different mood has different time delay during the transmission. Second one is natural dispersion because because the refractive index of the fiber core material is a function to the frequency. Single uh, components of different frequency uh, propagate of different velocity along the fiber. This case is the dispersion. And third one is the waveguide dispersion. In this fiber, for a single carrier, different frequency is in the um, same mode um, uh, dispersion in case because of different group of velocity during the propagation. Uh, these three types of dispersion are called the chromatic chromatic dispersion. Uh, if this is the dispersion uh, diagram, you know the dispersion must. You have know the range of the. <clears throat> if you uh, when you are configured the uh, DWDM system, you have know the value. Uh, in IoT for the range of uh, three one thousand three hundred to one thousand three hundred. 24 nanometer the uh, dispersion loss uh, must be 0 0.039 ps per nanometer square per into kilometer uh, our practical we can use the this <coughs> we can use uh, this port because of our wavelength is uh, this is the this is use our dw uh, our um, uh, bdn 
DWDM because of we are our frequency range is 150 1525 to 1575 and dispersion is must be calculated to 20 PS per, per nanometer square into kilometer. Dispersion compensation. When dispersion is gas, we can use the uh, dispersion compensation equipment. In practical session, we can uh, showing the dispersion compensation equipment. Now we can try with the pass code. Pass code. <coughs> First one pass code is got the FC fiber. FC. Second one is the LC. Third one is the HC. And uh, fourth one is the HT. Mainly we can use this three type of pass code. Uh, this is the uh, type of the ODF. Uh, first one is the FC type ODF. Second one is the LC type of the F. And uh, third one is the um, uh, HC type ODF. Mainly we can use uh, we can use three type of ODF in our network. And uh, attenuation attenuation used for the when the uh, uh, laser is power is high. We can use attenuation for the Resistivity. <laughs> So, so uh, uh, the issue, Oh, one, one minute. <laughs> Uh, so the answer is incorrect. That means our answer or a uh, present. I am totally confused. So then I, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am clarifying you. So there is a question, uh, the um, uh, dB loss of uh, patch code. So your answer was uh, 0.5 dB. And however, uh, one participant from probably he is from Sri Lanka. He is uh, totally disagree with you. He is uh, uh, telling that the answer is incorrect. Can you explain whether it is correct or incorrect? And if you Dhamaka uh, Dhamika, if you have any uh, comments on that, you can add it also. Uh, no, I I have no queries about uh, the, the slides and because I thought the slides uh, the given answer in the slides uh, or oh, the patch code loss they stated oh, stated that 0 0.0 dB patch code and for the to connect uh, it it was uh, 0.5. So the but the answer there was uh, it was uh, less it should be uh, less than uh, one dB. So yes, exactly. Uh, there was, but, there uh, was some yeah. yes, yes, exactly. Sometimes it's deep and when you have um, a patch code, uh, how long it is? Sometimes we have a three meter patch code, we have fifteen meter patch code, uh, we have okay. thirty meter patch code. So it's deep and actually when about the length is increased, the uh, definitely dB loss will also increase. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, but, yeah, but <clears throat> when we are um, uh, calculate the budget, if you are clear, passport loss and another spacing loss. Uh, in future, I have uh, explained the I, I have explained the uh, what is procedure to calculate the budget for link. In that time, link, bud are, link budgeting, link budget, okay, in link okay. budgeting is more uh, link budgeting, okay. Once you design your transmission network, you have to budget your link. So yeah. I hope uh, Alamba is talking about that. So. So do you have uh, any other slide today? Yes, I have another slide. Okay, please, can you please proceed with the slide? Okay. 
this is the last slide for today. In this uh, slide, I will talk about the fundamental technology of DWDM transmission. In this course, I will introduce some typical type of, uh, of site in DWDM system. There are network and internal structure. We will use the high speed relay to help the illustrate with this concept. In the uh, this is the <clears throat> high speed relay between A and D. Uh, the A and D. The these station are origination and destination station, and all the train or passenger will enter, go, get on or get off at this station. The railway also pass through the <clears throat> intermediate station, or such as B and C, where the passenger can uh, stay on the train for their stop. The DWDN system we are refer to is, is uh, we are refer side like a and d a terminal site uh, or optical terminal my uh, otm my um, terminal my um, multiplexer the this site also added and drop the all the uh, all service the intermediate station like c is called the om optical add and drop multiplexing it is all um, always same service to add and drop and an other service pass through now we can <clears throat> explain OL, OLA, as the DWD uh, signal are terminated all uh, along optical fiber at uh, the signal will uh, weaken and may not be detected by the receiver in. To help the fix this problem, uh, site that are amplify the optical signal are configured which are called optical line amplifier OLA site. Now we can discuss the regeneration site. It is uh, in additional in order to solve this problem of OS and uh, optical signal to notice your deter deterioration creation. Signal need to signal regeneration. <clears throat> the signal the regeneration uh, site is called the regeneration site. Uh, the last uh, slide, uh, the, the last site type is regeneration site, uh, site. And regeneration site does not add and drop. Uh, service it only the enhance the OSO SNR to exist in the transmission distance. Regeneration compensation five type, five type parts OTU, max, D max, OAU, OHC, and FIU unit. Uh, at the uh, regeneration site uh, signal, the that need to regeneration uh, are sent to the OTU from the retiming, reshaping, uh, regeneration. That that means three R function and then, then continue the transmission. Let us talk about the comp uh, composition of each type of OTM, optical terminal multiplexer site allow only one direction of light, meaning <clears throat> all optical signal uh, transmit here and showing the figure OTM and uh, compose five type, five parts. Optical transponder unit OTU, Optical max multiplexer, demultiplexer unit, uh, optical amplifier unit, optical supervisory channel, or unit optical interface unit. Let took uh, their function of each part. The OTU convert the gray signal to color signal, and max and demax multiplexer and the mm, max and demax multiplex and demultiplex multiple wavelength and OAU amplifier to the optical power to signal all wavelength. The optical supervisory units to the unique wavelength to carry the optical supervisory signal to con connect with NMS. FIU marks all service, um, marks, marks all service signal and supervisory signal and send them to the optical path for transmission. The ten, uh, transmit the direction of OM, OTM side convert the service signal from HDS or data service into the standard WDM wavelength. Laser. <clears throat> to understand the uh, understanding the requirements and solution of the DWDM optical uh, resource to understand the DWDM optical ampli uh, amplification uh, technology the understanding DWDM multiplexing and demultiplexing technology laser laser ho function is um, uh, laser whose 
function is uh, to the general ledger. It, it can it an important component of the WDM system. At present, lasers use HDWDM system are semiconductor laser, LD, uh, laser, <coughs> laser modulation modes. Optical fiber communication system are extend, ex, uh, extensive use the employing the inten, intensity modulation direction of the detects the system. There are two types of intensity modulation of laser, the direct modulation and indirect modulation. Direct modulation, it is called the, uh, it is also called the internal modulation. Uh, I direct modulation are laser and change the lancet uh, light or, Wave intensity by the control the injection current LED or LED source use the traditional PDS and HDS system uh, 2.5 Gbps or above employ this modulation method. That means direct modulation used only for the HDS technology. Indirect modulation, indirect modulation, this modulation method is also called the external modulation. Modulation the laser indirectly and adding an external modulation in its output path or modulation the light wavelength. The first, uh, this modulation work as switch and uh, DWDM technology. This is the <clears throat> optical transponder unit. Mm. Let's <clears throat> next let's take a uh, take it take it to uh, some basic fundamental function of the OTM. OTU is standard for the optical transporter unit, which which is a uh, is a term we use our comp uh, comp company. Some <clears throat> vendor or operator is called a transponder. O O U T optical transponder unit is uh, the key function mo mod mod modules of OTU are called client side interface unit line side interface unit the inter intermediate electric layer 3 are processing unit optical um, transponder unit uh, wave <clears throat> wavelength conversion the first uh, the first in the conversion of gray signal from the client side into the color signal gray signal as usually have have large spe spectral window resulting the one signal one signal taking up to one fiber however dwdm uh, wavelength have a relatively uh, small spe spectral uh, window in 80 wavelength, the WDM system, the spectral window of DWDM is only 0.04 nanometer, and therefore the multi multiple wavelength can multiplex into one fiber using the max unit. The retiming, the shaping, and regeneration three are the uh, second function of o, uh, optical transporter is retiming, the shaping, and regeneration. And third function of uh, optical transponder is uh, faulty demarcation. The, an OTU is a component of client signal uh, port of WDM uh, site optical port and intermediate electrical layer OTN processing F AFC processing and mod and modulation. Let uh, let now we have to talk some OTU characteristic. We generally categorize OTU into uh, transponder and max ponder according to the different wavelength rate, the client and w, WDM side. That means or OTU is two type. One is the <clears throat> only transponder, another is the max ponder. Transponder means you can uh, take a uh, information one router. That means you have a uh, you have a 10 G interface connect to the router and a, a transponder cut is uh, directly through the 10 uh, client side to uh, line side max ponder maxing the client side you have a uh, two or three 10 port uh, maxing and uh, through the line card max <clears throat> The optical transponder need the max ponder on the another hand of multiplex the signal with a low rate and high rate channel. 
for example max uh, max multiplex uh, 10 10 g signal into a 1 100g channel or a 8g channel into 1 10g channel or a common feature of share the both transponder and mask that is that a client port or wdn side port are integrated on the same port <clears throat> open system finally uh, took a uh, some uh, wdm applicable uh, uh, scenario one common application scenario of wdm system is open system an open system use otu and wdm device to convert j signal from client side device to color signal and 80 channel wdm system generally required 80 pair of otu such an op open system in the most common application uh, scenario according for 90 percent of application the <clears throat> main characteristic of open system uh, in that it helps to oper operators make individual for bit based on different equipment type in additional open system also support fast <clears throat> Uh, look, uh, locating when the fault occurs, uh, sup uh, supplier can also the for bed of this application uh, scenario because the capacity expansion of wavelength requires the operation uh, passes new <coughs> OTO, which is the expansion with the implemented integrated system. The another uh, scenario of the integrated system in which rarely applicable applied it in. An integrated system, the client side device directly output or OTU standard component color DWDM signal and WDM system provide the only optical layer function, such as multiplexing, demultiplexing, optical amplifier at the <clears throat> The application uh, application of occurs only less than ten percent. The integrated system are phenomenon by uh, Cisco, but it not re uh, recon uh, recognized by the main stream operation. This key of function that integrated system allocate the function OTU. This is the <clears throat> optical amplifier unit. In this course, we intend the help to you uh, gain the through the understanding of the optical amplifier of the WDN system. Optical amplifier is also called a fiber amplifier. It is <clears throat> it is a, a component that amplifier optical signal to component uh, optical communication channel based on the de de deployment of location and function. Now, what you are classified into uh, line amplifier. P amplifier and booster amplifier. <clears throat> uh, at first, we can discuss the amplifier uh, according to the location of the WDM optical fiber transmission network (ETFA) or amplifier can uh, classify booster amplifier, line amplifier, and pre amplifier. Booster amplifier, booster amplifier is the installed behind the transmitter of uh, transmitters of terminal equipment, regeneration equipment, as showing figure. This is the <coughs> This is the amplifier position, and this is the origination point, and this is the destination point. That means this is the booster amplifier. And line amplifier, line amplifier, look at the uh, middle of the whole the regeneration section as the showing figure. This is the origination point, this is destination point, and this is the amplifier. This is called line amplifier. And pre amplifier, look at the end of the regeneration section, but in the front of the optical receiving equipment. This is the origination point and uh, another, this is the destination point and P amplifier use this position. That means <clears throat> booster amplifier is the use uh, this position, line amplifier is middle position. And uh, uh, that means booster amplifier uses the <clears throat> test bit position, line amplifier middle position and uh, uh, P amplifier is the receiving end, near the receiving end. <clears throat> type of optical amplifier two type of optical amplifier one type of edfa another is the raman advantage of edfa edfa have four major advantages <clears throat> EDFA, edfa have low more, more uh, four major advantages low comp Fast EDFA itself a optical fiber uh, low comp uh, compelling less and high 
energy conversion efficiency, high signal gain, low noise figure, and <coughs> wide spectrum. Disadvantage of EDFA, fixed gain rays, uneven gain, and optical search issue. Raman amplifier. <coughs> Ram, uh, Raman amplifier is another amplifier for um, uh, optical amplifier purpose use. Raman's effect is also showing as the Raman scattering discovered by the Indian physicist Raman in 1928. Raman effective uh, referred to the phenomena where the optical uh, optical wavelength shift to the long uh, wavelength um, <clears throat> after being scattering. Raman one. Um, uh, advantage and disadvantage of the Raman amplifier, the uh, gain of uh, wavelength of determining the pumping light, uh, the gain of wavelength of determine the wavelength of the pumping line uh, in the adjustable wide the operating spectrum gain media is the uh, transmission fiber itself with the widely applicable three is noise figure is lower than the EDFA <coughs> on order of the magnitude. These are the of the Raman amplifier. Raman amplifier also have the short com. Raman amplifier have a high output power, may, may maintenance person are forbidden to look, uh, forbidden to look into the optical port directed to avoid eye injuries. The Raman laser must be turned off before the inserting or removing the fiber. Otherwise, maintenance person may, might be injured by strong light. Second shortcom or a shortcom is high required optical fiber. All fiber have to connect by the fiber splicing. Raman amplifier is two type for <clears throat> for a Raman amplifier backward Raman fiber. Common Raman amplifier can be classified for a Raman amplifier and backward Raman amplifier. For a Raman amplifier are placed in the transmit end of the line side and backward Raman amplifier are placed in the receiving end of the line side. Basic component of digital rhodium is optical. <clears throat> Uh, best, uh, in this case, I will discuss a passive component of WDM system. As if the component that uh, emit the light amplifier optical signal and perform the uh, optical electrical conversation, example, including the optical amplifier and laser. Conversing component of the uh, does not emit the light amplifier signal or <clears throat> optical electrical conversation is called the component. Mm. Is called the passive component, including the multiplexer, demultiplexer, optical, coupler, and splitter, attenuator, and optical switch. Uh, digital video system have many other types of the passive equipment. This is the multiplexer. Multiplexer refer to the process of the merging the optical signal from transmitter <clears throat> and different wavelength with the different um, different wavelength into one optical uh, fiber for transmission. Demultiplexer, demultiplexer refer to the process of uh, separate the signal from one uh, optical uh, fiber into receiving in different wavelength. <clears throat> Now we took to working principle of the splitter and coupler. Splitter can be classified in the phase uh, uh, coin typical uh, parallel height. If we splitter in uh, inter win two fiber uh, course and uh, fuse, then we uh, uh, oxidize them. Now we can discuss the supervisory tunnel. <clears throat> optical supervisory technology, two types of optical supervisory channel, one is OHC, another electrical supervisory channel. Okay. Now we can take a question. Is it finished? Yes. So we have a question for you uh, from uh, Asifuddin Khan from Borishal University. The difference between, could you please explain the difference between the Raman and EDF amplifier? 
main difference is <coughs> raman and uh, edf amplifier use the um, similar technology but uh, edf use for the long distance transmission uh, for long means that uh, short distance transmission amplifier uh, raman amplifier is the long distance transmission that means edf our dwd our video and transmission network edf use uh, only uh, four, 4 to 15 kilometer 40 to 15 kilometer, but Raman is used in the 1070 kilometer. Our um, Ashugans to uh, Silet region, that means 1170 kilometer, we are used the Raman amplifier. That means Raman amplifier is the long, di long distance transmission and sub bedding system, and EGV is the short distance and transmission system. Okay, so uh, other than the submarine, uh, submarine uh, transmission system, if you, uh, if you, uh, I just added something like, uh, uh, if we want to use this uh, Raman amplifier in the traditional uh, optical fiber network in other than the submarine, there are some other relative factor which may be uh, work as a obstacle to operation the link using the Raman. You have to a uh, clear fiber and high quality fiber to uh run the run your link using raman network and traditional other than the submarine so i hope you got your answer uh if there are any other question one um, brother ask a question he is is there a, a, a other question from the kamrul hassan from borishar university is there any amplifier that can only amplify the singular not noise no, every every amplifier have a noise, but <clears throat> if you are uh, using the clear uh, path fiber and you are using the um, uh, clear OD, uh, ODF and uh, passcode and properly connected, you can minimize the noise, but the noise not <clears throat> reduced fully. Okay. So, is there any question? Achha. We have uh, other question from Indra. Is there any yeah. specific proper uh, property like amplification range, etc., yeah, no, no. that distinguishes the PA, BA, and LA beside the place of installation? <clears throat> Can you see the question? Yes, I can see this. Um, okay. Uh, PA amplifier uses them. Uh, you know that uh, only not one uh, one channel is using uh, eighty channel or forty channel is using the uh, transmission system. A PA is using the um, uh, receiving end when <clears throat> we can see that receiving in um, receiving in power is low. That time we are using the PA system and the uh, LA system mainly use the ULA, ULA system. Uh, in our network, we can use the ULA system is the LA system and BA system is used for the when we receiving the low fiber, low power from the uh, link. That time we use the uh, booster system. So participant, we have no other, uh, any other question in the chat box. If you have, please you can type or you can ask a question and we have already shared the work uh, today's uh, quiz result in chat box you may download or uh, probably you will have the result from your uh, individual uh, access from the LMS as well. Uh, so I think uh, we don't have any other question. So we may conclude uh, today's session. Uh, I, I, do you do uh, allow? Okay. Uh, in uh, in our daily life, uh, actually DWDM, uh, we cannot uh, use uh, directly DWDM in our infrastructure. Yes. So, but uh, in our uh, daily life, we many use Gpon. Uh, okay. Can you include uh, just a topic of Gpon in this course? Mm, as a as a as a part of theoretical or as a part of practical? Just theoretical, just uh, an overview. Theoretical. Okay. Oh, 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 Arif, bhai. 
uh, okay. this one is already included our session maybe tomorrow next class or uh, third class we will explain the jipon uh, dwdm is not used in uh, university university mainly use jipon and optical fiber optical fiber is the most important for the uh, university guy because of uh, whole campus network are depend on the optical fiber for this season i have um, another session we will be taking next class uh, on the topics of optical fiber and zipon okay so it is uh, good to know that we have already included alumni had already included in a slide zipon and uh, if possible we'll uh, uh, probably uh, uh, i know uh, we also know that uh, we don't have the daily activities on dwdm network but uh, we have a, you know we have a, a practical session hands on session uh, on that hands on session we'll uh, like to give you the um, uh, physical flavor and you will have the uh, physical device and you you can uh, create circuit you can uh, uh, delete circuit you can pass through data from the circuit as well so we have a plan to give you the practical and physical uh, real life uh, flavor so uh, as uh, uh, jipon already included uh, we'll try to include the practical session as well during the physical part so Alumbai, I think you have already finished. You don't have yes. any other slide. Do you have? Yes, I have already finished. Okay. So the participant, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your participation and patience. So I'd like to conclude today's session and thanks for your participation. Bye-bye.